Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Hopefully you had an awesome day. Let me let the sirens peel on by. One thing that, that uh, was on my mind today, I, I was, I met with a journalist. And what I found so interesting is, is how often I was repeating anecdotes. Anecdotes that I've used before in different articles. Also even in just the same conversation, an anecdote about one thing had a very similar message as an an anecdote about another. This is one of those places where I think it holds a lot of us back. We're really bad at repetition. And I think that many of the greatest amongst us are really good at repetition. The best bands are great at writing songs that are always a about love. And the greatest bands are also able to show up at concert after concert in different cities and play the same set list without the loss of enthusiasm. And the greatest bands are able to still play those same songs over years but keep reinventing them. Maybe sing acoustic versions, remix them, add new artists, add new instruments. The best artists amongst us are able to improvise and even change those songs over the times that they play them. A lot of us are held back because we are afraid to repeat ourselves. We, we write one blog post and we don't want to write it again. We think like, well, I've already written about that. I can't write about it again. Or I've already told everybody this idea. But this happens to me all the time. I share an idea, say on this vlog, and it doesn't go anywhere. I take that same view and I write about it and it can take off. What changed? Who knows? Maybe it was a better better medium for this message, or maybe I just wrote it better than I did a video on it, or sometimes simply it's just random. I tweeted about it on Tuesday and not a lot of people saw it. I tweet about the same exact thing on a Wednesday and now this time a lot of people see it. That's why it's so important to learn how to repeat yourself. Look at advertising. Sometimes it takes eight attempts before an advertising actually clicks into people's minds and they start recognizing the thing. Imagine how many times you've got to tell people how important it is some philosophy you have, probably about eight times. You read some of the greatest people writing things and you see them talk about it, you see them write about it, then they write a book about it. And maybe you, if you're a great fan, you start to get bored hearing this over and over again. And that's that's just the curse of, of paying attention to some people with, with the level of detail some of the, you know, the core true fans are. But most people aren't true fans. Most people are barely paying attention and you really do need to learn to creatively repeat yourself over and over and over again. And sometimes it's repeating a, a product you see or someone else's message. Something that I constantly try and do is just turn off that switch that, that in my head that's like, you know what, someone's already done this. Someone's already talked about this. But I can tell the same thing. I can probably do it better. I think I can do it better in, in a lot of cases than someone else that I see who's done it. It's just a faith that I, I have now in myself that I can repeat things. I can repeat stuff I've done. I can repeat stuff other people have done, but with my own twists, with my own metaphors and creativity, my own designs, my own simplifications. You're looking at something and you think everything's been done and you think you can't repeat anything else even that you've done. That's not true. I hope that was a little food for thought to go out and repeat yourself. Hope you guys are digging these videos. Please hit the thumbs up, please share them. If you're new here, please subscribe. I upload a new video every single day talking about business and design and just getting through life. And I hope you are having an awesome day. See you tomorrow, everybody. Bye.